Whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. Inviting you to spend your five minutes in listening, meditating, and praying on the Word of God as you begin your day. Blessing and peace to you and all your family members. May the Lord Jesus bless you with love and peace. February 17th, 2023 Friday, 6th week In Ordinary Time Prepare your mind and heart as you listen to the Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 8, verses 34 and chapter 9, verse 1. And he called to him the multitude with his disciples, and said to them, If any man would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? For what can a man give in return for his life? For whoever is ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him will the Son of Man also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. And he said to them, Truly I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see that the kingdom of God has come with power. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray and meditate on this Gospel passage. What is the most important investment you can make with your life? Jesus poses some probing questions to challenge our assumptions about what is most profitable and worthwhile in every decision of life. We are making ourselves a certain kind of person, the kind of person we are, our character, determines to a large extent the kind of future we will face and live. It is possible that some can gain all the things they set their heart on only to wake up suddenly and discover that they missed the most important things of all neither money nor possessions can buy heaven mend a broken heart or cheer a lonely person god gives without measure we give all we have in return the cross of christ leads to victory and freedom from sin and death what is the cross which Jesus Christ commands me to take up each day. When my will crosses with his will, then his will must be done. To know the Lord Jesus Christ is to know the power of his saving death and resurrection. The Holy Spirit gives us the gift of faith to know Jesus personally, power to live the gospel faithfully, and courage to witness to others the joy and truth of the gospel. Are you ready to lose all for Jesus Christ in order to gain all of Jesus Christ? Let us pause to pray silently and ask the Lord Jesus to bless you with all the graces you need for today. Prayer Lord Jesus Christ, I want to follow you as your disciple. I gladly offer all that I have to you. 
take and use my life as a pleasing sacrifice of praise to your glory. Amen.